Today I want to share with you three coaching tips. So if you're a new coach, thinking of becoming a coach, you started but you're kind of just stumbling around coaching, these are especially important for you. Hey, I'm Mark Nelson. I'm a former school teacher. And when I got ready to leave teaching, I started thinking, what is the next thing I should be doing? Well, you know, coaching was what I did forever in school. Coaching kids, high school kids, middle school kids. So it became second nature for me to become a coach. Now, the coaching world, what is so cool right now, it's like it's exploding. And there's a couple reasons for it, right? We just got through that pandemic. The world is kind of in a situation where everybody's kind of wondering what the heck is going on. And people are not only looking for help, they're looking for new careers, but they're looking for some guidance. So if you're thinking of starting a coaching business, or if you started a coaching business, I'm going to share with you these three tips, and I know they're going to be great for you. Now, the first one is be goal-focused when you're working with a client. Now, when I first started coaching, I've always had coaches, and everyone's a little different, but there's some I got done with the program, and I'm like, whoa, did I learn a ton. And then there's others I went, geez, what do we really do? You know, so when I say goal focus, I mean, when you're working with a client, one is ask them what they want to do. Right now, I'm a life coach and a business coach. I, I work with both. So if they want to create a new business or they want to get in the info product business, then you have to ask some goals for them. Right now, I don't know what you're going to do to schedule your coaching business. Is it weekly, bi-weekly? I do mine usually in a three-month program, and I have weekly calls. So when I get on, when I'm talking about goal focus, one, I'm going to ask them what they want to do, and if they want to build a business, the thing is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a goal or help them set a goal to what they should do first. You know, what are they trying to complete first? And when are they going to get it done? That's what I mean about goal setting. Now you can do that like, we're gonna do this in the first month. We're gonna do this in the second month. We're gonna do this in the third month. See, if I'm helping a brand new coach, there's three goals. The first one is one, if they're brand new, they gotta build an audience. That's their first goal. They gotta build an audience. Then they have to get good at setting discovery calls or free coaching sessions. And then the third one is, okay, now you gotta know how to sign people up. So those are three goals we really go after when I'm working with a brand new coach. So the first one is help your client set some goals. Now, the second tip, right, this is so key, always over deliver, but be careful. You need to set some boundaries with some people. And this is so true with new coaches. And what I mean by this is over deliver. Again, I do weekly calls, but I let them email me and text me, but I've set boundaries up. You can email me and text me. And I will respond within a 24 hour period, but I'm not going to respond in the first two minutes. I get so burned out. I mean, I, I really would. I'm going to, if they ask me a question, if you, you are working with me, you ask me a question, I will respond to it. I will find it. I'll share your word with you. You can go to find it yourself, but I'm not going to just stop what I'm doing to answer those. And I think you have to set that up as a boundary because otherwise you're just going to get burned out. The third tip is when you're working with clients. Now there, there's a distinction here. And, and this is really important for a lot of coaches to know. You are not a therapist. You're not a counselor. You're not a mentor. You're a coach. So what you want to do is you want to teach your clients how to lead themselves. Some clients, and I, this has happened to me, they want me to do the work for them. Well, 
I'm not helping them if I'm going to do the work for them. See, I'm going to teach them to teach themselves. It's no different in teaching school. Now, I was a math teacher. Now, I could do the problems for them, but I wasn't helping them learn. I'd teach them how to teach themselves or where to look to find the answers. So it's the same thing. They became better students when they could kind of get their head wrapped around that me as a teacher and now as a coach, I'm not going to do it for them. I'm going to help. I'm going to applaud. I'm going to maybe send them in the right direction. Yet at the same time, they have to do it themselves. So the three tips, right? Focus on goals. Help your clients with their goals. The second one is always over deliver, but make sure to set some boundaries. And the third one is teach your clients how to lead themselves or how they can help themselves because at some point you're going to not be their coach and you haven't done them any justice if all they did was lean on you for everything. Now you can help them, but teach them how to lead themselves. Hey, I talked about over delivery. So here's the fourth tip. If you're a new coach or going to be a coach, do you know what you need? You need a coach, right? I don't care how often you have one or who the coach is, but you need a coach. If you're a life coach, you should have a life coach that you can talk to. If you're a business coach, you should be working with a business coach. If you're a health coach, you should be working with a health coach. And why? Because it's always gonna be learning you're always going to be getting new ideas that you can help your clients with. So there you have it. Hey, I have some links in the description below. You are going to be a rock star. There you go. We will talk again soon.